And it's Kim Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio and Army Navy Media Day. I have a chance to talk with Army defensive captain Cole Christensen, inside linebacker, having a great season. Cole, good to see you. What's it like to be at your Army Navy Media Day for your senior se- season? And good to see you too. It's 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 awesome. It really is. It's it's uh, I'm reminiscent, and you know, it's kind of hitting me that this is my last go around in an Army uniform. But it's it's exciting to be down here and getting able to do this again. Well, I say last time I saw you was uh, branch night when you and uh, your thousand classmates opened envelopes for branches of the Army. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what your thought was when you saw field artillery in your envelope. I was so excited. That was my number one choice, and I'm fired up. And I, I really think that the field artillery mission fits me and the type of people that are there. And I, I really enjoy uh, the field artillery men that I was around over the summer. So I was really excited when I got to see those cross cannons. Very good. Well, let's game back to football uh, Saturday night in Hawaii. A tough game. You guys really played your hearts out, as you always do. Uh, what were some of the thoughts that went through your head during that game? Hawaii is a fantastic football team and a great, efficient passing offensive operation. That's, I mean, that's what I was thinking. I thought we had a lot of young guys on the field and a lot of, a lot of inexperienced players, but everyone played their hearts out. I really thought that. And it has been a story the whole year. I know. I mean, the energy has been there, the effort's been there, the preparation's been there. We just come up short, which has been frustrating. But you know, credit to Hawaii, they are they are a really really good football team, and you know we we struggle with them. Cole McDonald, excellent. I think he's going to be an NFL draft choice. Uh, good quarterback you were going up against. You have been when I watch you on the field, you are all over the field. There was a play in one of the recent games where you tackled a ball carrier on the far sideline and just ran from your middle of the field spot and. It was just an example of the excellent play. You're making a ton of tackles all year. What 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 is the season been like from you for you leading your defensive unit with Elijah? We just talked to, but the two of you leading that defensive unit. Yep, I and mean, that's really been what we've been trying to do. I mean, we Elijah is a fantastic leader, and we always say this, but we're we get a chance to be leaders among leaders because everyone on the defense and on the team is just as capable of being a captain as any of us. But you know, defensively, him and I try to set the example, and through my my energy and my effort, hopefully I set the example for the other guys in the defense. And if I can make a tackle on the other side of the field, that's what I'm going to do. That's what it takes to, to get guys going. So I always try to play 100%, and hopefully that's what it appears to be on film. Well, you you know, from what we always see, see that in your play. It's, it's extraordinary to watch you. But you're going to play an extraordinary quarterback a week from Saturday. Malcolm mm-hmm. Perry having a great season running the ball, throwing the ball. Uh, you've played against him before. What, what are your thoughts about Malcolm Perry? He's an awesome football player. He's fun to watch. He's, I think he's their X factor. He has been since he's been at Navy. So I think our success is going to come from stopping him. If we're able to do that, I think we'll, we'll like the result at the end of the day. But it's been, it's been cool because we've really grown up with those guys. I don't know them personally, but they're the same guys we've played all three years until now because, I mean, they don't have grad transfers coming in. They don't have guys going out. It's, it's us versus them since we were freshmen. And since some guys in the prep school have been playing them that long. So... It's cool that we're all seniors now and, you know, getting to square off one more time. Well, that's a neat perspective. We were just talking to a couple of players. There's Fort Higgins, the center, you'll, you'll see. Uh, what, what is it uh, – how do you talk to your teammates about preparing for the game? It's going to be a big crowd, very noisy. The helicopters will, will welcome you in as you run on the field. How do you tell, talk to your players about mental preparation for playing this important football game? Uh, there's – you don't have to do anything to get excited because that's going to come naturally because there's just – Energy just overwhelms you as the, the weeks go on, as these two weeks progress. So I don't have to do anything to motivate. I don't give any speeches or anything because guys are going to be fired up. I think what it comes down to is being able to control your energy and your emotion, honestly, because if, if you let it get too high, it could be detrimental to your play. If you if you let it get to you, like the crowd, you can feel the 8 million eyes watching you from around the world. You can just feel that heat knowing that there's so many people caring about this game. So just staying focused on your job and – not letting the crowd overwhelm you, that, that's pretty key success. But then at the same time, you got to enjoy yourself. So look around and stick, suck it in because my most cherished memories at West Point have been my Army-Navy games, and I'm sure this will be too. Well, I was just going to ask you what have been some of the highlights uh, in your four years, I call it the 47 months at West Point. Uh, what have been some of the highlights and key challenges that you've had to overcome in your time here at West Point? It's been a lot. I mean, I, I think my absolute worst days of my life have been here, but the best days – maybe that I'll ever have, have also been at West Point. So, I mean, all these games have been fantastic. I, I will always remember these Army-Navy games, playing like the big, I mean, playing the big house, playing Oklahoma, playing Ohio State. Those are all fun games. Traveling across the country, meeting people, speaking in the Rose Garden, meeting the president. I mean, that that is 
pretty awesome stuff that a lot of people get to do. I've met prime ministers and presidents of other countries at West Point, just walking around, actors, I mean, everything. And then I've, I've grown as a leader. I mean, I've been through, I mean, survival swim, with my ass, it was hard. I mean, that's some of the stuff that you do is just really hard and time management and growing up from being a freshman to what I am now. I mean, I, I was a lost dog as a freshman as every cadet is and now I feel very prepared and able to, to handle myself and eventually lead soldiers here pretty soon. Well, we see your family at the games. Uh, I bump into your father uh, now and then uh, before the games. They're so proud of you and everybody is you. You've had quite a career here at West Point and you're going to uh, go out and serve the Army. Um, uh, what's it going to be like when you go to graduation day and you get that diploma? I mean, full circle, and it's it's pretty exciting to think that it's actually here because when you, when you first get here on our day, you think that the experience is never going to end because that's the longest day of your life, and freshman year feels like it's the longest year. But then once, it's, once that's over, it really does start to snowball and go fast and fast, and it feels like just yesterday I got here, and now I'm a, a first team about to graduate. So... When I do finally get that diploma, it'll be it'll it'll be awesome to say that I I did graduate from here and it's been everything I've wanted and more. Well, I think I was at your R day and I'll be at your graduation day. Cool. Hey, just really uh, best wishes and congratulations from everybody at the American Legion. Great to see you and follow your career here at West Point. Yeah, I really appreciate all your support. Good to see you, Cole Christensen, Army senior linebacker, captain on the Army football team. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of America Legion Radio and Army Navy Media Day.